Yo yo, we are back in After Effects And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to compose it And add the fire into your scene inside of After Effects So let's just get into it And here in my comp, you can see I have the raw clip I'm gonna add the fire on Start by selecting your clip and going over to the right side And you will see a menu called Tracker Just open there If you don't see this, go over to Windows Go over to Trackers um, Below the tools, you can see Trackers And make sure it's checked So anyways, go over over to here and hit track camera and go to advance and set it to detail analysis what this will do is track our camera movements and stuff and it will make a camera so the camera motion is matching to our fire if that makes sense so let it do its thing for now after you're done tracking you can see these track points all over your scene so i'm mainly gonna add some fire into our background so i'm gonna select a good track point from somewhere on the background and right click it and hit create solid and camera and also make sure the track is done well in my case it's done pretty well also if you like track fails or something like that you can just pre comp your clip and add like on sharp marks into it and then track it it might help and you also gotta make sure that your footage is shot on good quality and doesn't have too many grains on it but anyways our track is done as you can see it looks pretty cool so that's what we exactly want so let's just hide our track solid for now and here in my comp you can see all of these overlays that i found out from footage create these all were free so i'll link this in the description these are all the five overlays i'm gonna use they are total three so let's just start by dragging uh, one of these right here and this is the long one so let's just let's just make it till here like there and we're gonna scale it up for sure something around there and then just set it to half after that you can toggle switches on most and turn on the 3d for your layer it's tracked to our footage which we exactly want so i'm gonna lower down the size for now and mess with the rotation as well uh let's just mess with the g rotation lower down the size again and bring up the po and also make sure to bring up the your position and putting in back back further 300 or something like that so it's a bit on the background so let's just put it like that somewhere around there also i'm gonna like scale it up more so after messing around with my position my rotation and scale i got a track looking something like this you can just mess with it like it really depends on your clip what you want so i'm not being specific with it so you just have to see what works the best for you after that i want the fire behind my subject so i'm just gonna do duplicate my footage layer there and put it before my fire layer and your fire will be disappeared for now i'm gonna put my resolution to and then i'll take my rotobrush tool and start rotoscoping out my subject to separate it from the background if you don't know how to rotoscope you can search it up on youtube there's millions of videos on youtube about rotoscoping so you can just watch one and learn from it it's pretty easy so let me do it real quick and i'll see you guys and then after you're done rotoscoping make sure to freeze it so everything is locked in after going into my composition panel you will see our background is separated and our fire is behind our subject that's what we exactly want so now i'm going again toggle switches and modes and turn my blending mode to screen so it removes all those ugly blacks and make it look like it's an actual fire as you can see then after that if you have deep glow you can apply that too i really like glow in it so let's just apply deep glow and you can play with the amount and stuff as well let's just lower down the threshold as well like that now one fire is done i'm gonna drag in my another model which will be this right here so i'm gonna drag it in and do the same thing with it toggle switches and modes turn on the 3d for it and i'm gonna just speed run this too and see you guys after it's the same step so you don't have to worry so after adding those two overlays, it looks really cool. As you can see in the back, I added the small one in here. In the top of this Almira or what? And another one in here in the wall. So it looks pretty cool. So now I like to add one more overlay into this, which will be our dust overlay. So I'll drag it below my rotoscope layer as well and scale it up. And in blending mode, turn into screen again. And I'm gonna add like a VC vibrance. If you don't know what is this, this is a free plugin which allows 
allows us to change the color of it easily if you don't have this you can use like tritone as well tritone we see vibrance and check this color right here also i'm gonna animate the opacity so it comes in the end after that we're gonna add the sauce now so now i'm gonna pre comp my camera all those fire the track solid and the particle as well make sure you are selecting all of those right click and just pre comp it after that it will turn into black it's completely fine so just set your blending mode to screen again and as you can see the black is gone so to make it more realistic in my roto layer i like to add a plugin called crest light warp if you don't already know it's a free plugin which allows us to add those light warps behind our subject to blend the vfx in so so let's just add it into our rotoscope layer and for the background layer we're gonna select the pre comp that we made and already you can see the light warp happening Happening. we're gonna play with the settings so first i like to lower down the width warp width and also bring up the background blur a bit so after adding that you can see it makes it more realistic the light warp really helps it to blend in as you can see so now to chop it all off i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and add like a curves into it and make a simple s curve so everything is like color graded and a bit contrasty also if you really want you can add another adjustment layer and add like some preset of mine so i'm gonna use grunge ultimate bundle and from it i like to add a drag transition as you can see it's a simple dark effect but this looks really cool and helps it to blend it it more so after all my result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also i'm uploading daily on july 2024 so subscribe to my channel to stay locked in with all the tutorials this month we are dropping a lot of sauce this month already dropped a lot too so you can check my channel and check my digital store if you want so yeah see you in next video peace